I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Sierra Gates talks about finding happiness in her relationship with her childhood friend. And when I tell you this, the most free I've been and the most like just comfortable in my own skin. I'm dating who I want to date, not who my pastor or preacher or prophet telling me to date. Like I'm literally dating somebody from we were from my childhood and I'm having the best time. I'm li- I'm just really living out loud and living free of who I am and who God called me to be. Yes, this is boxers on my head, y'all. I'm sorry. This, this is what I use as my shower cap. Because I'm a real person. <laughs> so, um, I just been like really doing a lot of research and really learning. I feel like growing up in church, we read the Bible, but we really didn't. It was kind of like what the pastor said, what the pastor said. We really ain't go home and read the Bible and really study it and just like, you know, really just in, um, let me take a screenshot of this right here. Hold on, right here. We really did not just go and just study and learn for our own self and like doing the research. Do y'all know it's certain parts of the Bible that they took out? Um, certain parts like of the Bible that they took out. Um, and it's just deep. And I really don't like talking religion because like I said, I'm still a child of God, the blood of Jesus. But I'm just not holier than thou. Y'all ever heard that saying where they say like, don't be so, um, don't be so uh, heavenly something that you're no earthly good. So I'm just, I feel like I'm living in that era in my life. I just see a lot of people, they just like, it's just so hypocrite. It's just so much hypocritical stuff going on. It's like people be making, talking about churches and this and that. And then in the same sentence of them talking about churches, they're being judgmental or they're saying, or they're worrying about the wrong thing. Well, do you know it's a sin to even be doing and saying half of the stuff you be saying? It's just, it just get deep. I just want to encourage somebody to just live and really have your, your relationship with God. You got to have a relationship with God yourself. It's so serious for you to have your one-on-one relationship with God. A lot of people, um, yes, a lot of people don't act like y'all parents ain't never put underwear on y'all heads. (laughs) That's what people ask nowadays, they spiritual. I mean, no, I'm still a a child of God, the blood of Jesus. When I pray, it's, it's in Jesus name. Amen. But I just feel like I just want to encourage people to have a a relationship with God, their self, like, have that one-on-one alone time with God, pray, talk to him and do your research and read, read, you know, really connect, really know that you can get in touch with God yourself. I used to feel like I needed people or I needed this certain type of pe- person to get in touch with God or to be blessed and stuff like that. You know how many, how much money I don't rent went through giving people money they telling me they need money for this and money for that. And if I don't give this, this not going to happen. I'm going to get this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get this going to happen. That's going to happen. The devil is a lie. Y'all got to learn how to shut these spirits down because that's what it is too. They're spirits and it's not of God. So I just want to encourage people to just have relationships with God. Have a relationship with your dad. Have a relationship with your dad. Like that is your dad. That is your dad. Have a relationship with your father. All right. So, yeah, that's what I just wanted to say. Like, really have a relationship. Tia, I called you the other day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I called you the other day. I don't know if you knew it was my number. But yes, I just want to encourage y'all to have a relationship with God yourself. I used to be so, I'm telling you, I was, I, mine just, mine just gone. Used to be so stressed out. 
used to be thinking something bad was gonna happen to me just like so much stuff i used to just be such in a dark place i didn't even know i was in a dark dark place to now that i'm so free and i just know that only god could judge me i'm so free and then when i see people doing stuff or you know or or something that i may think is not right i just be i pray for them i don't have to I don't judge them. I don't look down on people. I just pray for people and keep it moving. Because at the end of the day, only God could judge you. Only God could judge you. Only. So, yeah, just have a have a relationship with God. Really tap in. And just let God use you. And, and we all on our different journeys for our, in different reasons. So, I just, I don't know. The biggest thing, because you have to be careful even when you're talking about this situation, this subject. But just really have a relationship with your father i promise you i promise you you'll be so much better in life i'm telling you i was that girl i grew up in church i was a church head i used to you know what i'm saying just used to be living my living a lie living a lie saying this doing this i kept getting married that was one of the reasons why i kept jumping in marriages and because you know I remember you don't want to be living with, you don't want to um, have you this person, this big person, and you need to get married because you um, don't want the, the church people to do that. Honey, them church people, especially them pastors and them preachers, baby, them the biggest hypocrites. Oh, my God. So my my thing is find a preacher and a teacher after your own heart. Because it's in the Bible, God will give you a preacher and a teacher after your own heart. Pray, ask for discernment, for God to send you who you who He wants to lead you. Do not be do not be manipulated into something that is not sent from God. You have to really pray and ask God to send you who you supposed to be under. Because that stuff is so real spiritual spirituality and having that relationship with god and just following up under the spirit of god is so real you really have to find out who god want you to be under right like i said a lot of times where i would get with people it was me just trying to marry or and not because yeah you gotta you gotta you gotta stay woke out here so a lot of times i would be in these relationships <laughs> A lot of times I would be in these relationships and I would just, you know what I'm saying? It was like, oh, you got to get married. You got to do this because of the look, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be. No, have a relationship with God. Let God send you who you who he want for you. And I don't care either because like my boyfriend now got tattoos over his whole body. He looked like a straight thug, bald head. But when I tell you this is the most sensitive guy, treat me so amazing and just the sweetest heart. Don't want me for nothing but Sierra. And I'm not saying that, you know, we're going to get married tomorrow. Well, we might do. But no, I'm just kidding. But I'm just saying, like, I just, I'm really just living in my truth. And I'm really, for the first time in my life, letting God lead me. Letting God convict me, letting him lead me, letting him just be all through me and not going to man for something that I need to get from God. And I feel like in this their age is so tricky because we all kind of just like we don't know, especially when you come from a church background like myself. For real. I kept saying when I met, when I, because y'all got, remember, my boyfriend now is one of my close friends. That's his his brother. So he, they been trying to talk to me since we was kids. But on the real, it's so crazy because when, but right before I got with BK, me and Zay was talking. And me and Zay was about to go to, I remember it was 20, what it was, 2018, 2019, 2018. I can't remember. But, and it's just a little testimony, a little part of my testimony. I remember me and Zay talking, and we was about to go to Miami. We was about to do something, but me and him was talking, and it was either between him and BK. And because I was so churchy, and because I was so churchy, and because I was so caught up on what people would think about me, because that's how I was taught, I went with BK because he was a better look. And I don't have nothing bad to say about him, you know what I'm saying? Because this is my testimony. And I'm learning to just live in my truths and just get, you know, without bashing anybody. 
But I'm so glad that God, that my boyfriend now, what baby? I'm just so glad now that he never gave up. Like he was still fighting for me. Every 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 time, like he was always in my DM, like, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. And I'm so glad that he didn't give up on me because when I tell you, I don't know if y'all can notice, I am so free. I like being with him has made me such a better person. Like, and I'm not gonna lie, it has not been perfect. Cause he was getting out of a relationship and I had just got out of a relationship and baby, it was a lot. Cause his ex was, she was like, baby, she didn't want to let go. And, um, it was just a lot. So it was been plenty of times where I don't say, I can't take this. I, he gotta go. He gotta go. But I just remember, hold on, wait, let me trans, let me transfer back. Cause I feel like I'm jumping from a time, 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 a conversation, conversation. So I literally um, chose BK because I'm a church girl and I felt like he BK was a better look and he was into church and all this and all that and whatever. And now we're here. When I tell you, like, my boyfriend now have made me really learn to love myself. He was the first man to challenge me and say, Sierra, you're insecure. You are insecure. You're living behind all of this money, but you're insecure. You listen to prophets all day. You don't have a mind of your own. And when I had to check myself, you know what I told him? When he told me that, what I told him, I said, you right. I am insecure. But what I have experienced with this relationship, I have learned to truly love myself and to do everything that I ever wanted to do. If y'all notice, I am so free and happy in this relationship. I cut my hair. I'm on Instagram with no makeup, no filter. I don't care. Like, because I know my man genuinely loves me, right? And um, I cut, I went bald. I cut my hair. I started wearing different colors. I went blue. I went red. I would never do that. And guess what? I actually rap and put a song out. Something that I always wanted to do. Because when you with the right person and you, they really feeding your soul for real, a woman gained another type of confidence that I can't even under, help make y'all understand. Like, seriously, when I was with them other relationships because of the look and because of a prophet and a pastor told me that was who I need to be with, I was so unhappy, especially with hips. So unhappy. I felt like I was losing my god dang on mine. My kids wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. My kids now love my man love and i just really wish that i was here mentally and just had the relationship with god that i have now to let him lead and inspire me to follow my heart and to really have the courage to say i don't care that my man look like this come here zay come here I want to, I want to, come here. <laughs> I don't care that he look like this. Look, show them you, baby. Let me see your face. <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, whatever. Him, he's, he's shy, y'all. But I don't care that he bald head and he got tattoos all over his head. Because guess what? That's a part of his testimony. That's a part of his testimony. And guess what? I love tattoos, too. But it's just like the world crucify you for so much stuff. But it's just like Peter had a cussing spirit. People in the Bible went through so much stuff. Like they went through so much stuff, right? And God still loved them. So instead of going, instead of judging your relationship, I just want to let people know that don't let nobody make you feel bad about your journey. Yeah, Eric, I'm not going to lie. He was like the worst relationship I ever had. He was, BK was not that bad. Like, me and BK were, were best friends. That was my friend for real. But Eric was the worst relationship. And I told myself that I wouldn't go and tell my testimony on stuff because it was kind of like the girl who cried wolf, right? You get in these relationships and it's like, oh, he's no good. He's no good. But sis, you needed to heal. I needed to heal, right? I needed to heal because the, why the hell you keep picking these bad guys? Because you need to heal. You need to stop chasing out the, um, just because you went to church, you got you ain't got to keep marrying these guys because you wouldn't because that's what I thought. I felt like I had to marry these guys because that's what I was being told by my leaders. Like, you need to get married. You on television. You can't be shacking up. And it's just like, well, I don't even like, it was just 
I felt like it was peer pressure. It was peer pressure and I did not have the relationship that I thought I had with God, right? So now that I'm here, I'm with somebody that really like love, like adores me. He pours into me. Now, like I said, we both have flaws. We both have flaws. This is the first man that I done got into an argument with where he would not say nothing bad to me. Like he would not say it. He would not say one bad thing to me. And I be wanting him to just go in because I be, because I'm so damaged, I be wanting him to say what the other guys done said so I could be superior and be like, F you, I don't need you. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm Sierra Glam Shop. I'm rich. I'm this, I'm that. But no, it's different. God said, no, he don't want that. He wants something different. And it allowed me to live in my soft girl era and say, look, Sierra, every man that you be with, they don't want, they don't want nothing from you for one. Um, and you don't have to be, have this mean girl facade so that you're able to test their love for you. No, because when some, when somebody love you, they don't want to, they don't want to see you hurt. They don't want to see you down. They don't want to see you cry. That's what describe real love. If you really think about it. That's what describes real love. So I just, I'm just so excited about what God is doing. And I'm excited that I'm able to live out loud. And I'm so excited that I just like attack, detach myself from all these judgmental pastors and prophets and all of these people and just decided to really trust myself in my relationship with God. And it's the best thing I've ever decided to do. And I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I'm not saying that. I'm holier than thou. I'm not saying that, you know, I still don't curse. I still don't whatever, whatever. But God is not looking for perfect people. I just want y'all to know that too. He's not looking for perfect people. Autumn, if you really read the stories in the Bible, those people was not perfect. It was hoes. It was pimps. It was like real life situations. But God came in and intervened and he saved those people. So I just want people to know that like, Really get that relationship with God and stop um, trying to be perfect just because you're a Christian or you go to church. You don't got to do that. Like, that's not like that's kind of that's hypocritical people. And, and I'm telling you, I was one of them people. I was literally one of them people that was very hypocritical um, thinking that I had to do this or to do that just because. I was in a church or because I had a pastor or a prophet that was telling me to do this and to do that. Have your relationship with God and live your life. Because the people in the Bible went through a lot. The people in the Bible went through a whole lot. Yeah, I don't have to show my kids. And my kids are grown. My kid Paris, y'all can follow her. Pimp, pimps is Paris. The spoilest little girl on his page. And my son is a gamer. He don't like Instagram at all. He don't care to, baby, Mason is a rock star. He, don't, he live his own life. And he is anointed. And he has a gift as well. And, baby, my kids is covered by the blood of Jesus. But my man boxes. Hakeem. But, yeah, so, like. I just, um, I just want to tell y'all to just really trust and believe in your relationship with God. Don't let man dictate your opinion on, on who or what you got going on. As long as you and God is solid, that's the best thing you could have, you could do. I used to be that girl that was so into letting pastors, preachers, people just tell me what I need to be doing with my life. And once I said the hell with that, that's when life got so much better for me. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.